The environment is, quite rightly, a major issue for many people. And like all responsible organisations, Hartlepool Power Station takes protecting it very seriously. Our location on the mouth of the River Tees puts us in close proximity to some superb rural and coastal areas, plus a variety of nature preserves and habitats, home to a diverse variety of species. There are also numerous water sources close by that could carry contamination, so looking after all of these things is an absolute priority. We do this through a strict set of policies and procedures. Every person who works on the plant has to take all necessary precautions to avoid an event that may lead to even the smallest incident of contamination or environmental damage. For example, the deployment of drain covers when using oils and chemicals. If you discover any form of leak in chemical and oil systems or any defect in the resources we have in place to prevent them, you must report it immediately. You also need to know the location of spill kits and how to use them. These contain everything you need to deal with an incident. In the event of a spill, you must report it immediately and seek advice and help. If it is safe to do so, and you have the necessary training, stop the leak or spill and clean it up. If you do use a spill kit, make sure you report it to the help desk and raise a CR cap report. Your supervisor will assist you with this if necessary. A major part of environmental protection is the safe disposal of waste materials, both radioactive in the categories of low, medium and high, and non-radioactive, which are classified as non-hazardous and hazardous. We have several ways of handling waste. By far the most preferred option is to not have so much of it to deal with in the first place. Always ask yourself this, does something you are about to discard really need to be? Where possible, reusing materials is another option we encourage, as is recycling. We also try to recover energy from waste. Throwing something away is always a last resort. With this in mind, we have a dedicated waste compound that is divided into sections to allow us to make the best use of waste materials. The various parts are signed extensively. Please take a note of them and follow them strictly. If any waste is categorised as hazardous, it must be disposed of carefully and correctly. If you have small amounts of such materials, you must use the hazardous waste store. Hazardous waste is regulated under Hazardous Waste Regulations 2005 and is classified as any non-radioactive waste that may still be harmful to human health and or the environment. Examples include asbestos, contaminated soils, batteries or electrical equipment with components such as cathode ray tubes or lead solder. If you're unsure about any material you have, make sure you ask. Never put anything with even the slightest possibility of hazard in with standard waste. Also, ensure that whatever you're disposing of is logged clearly and precisely for disposal by a specialised contractor. To reduce the risk of land contamination, the following rules must be observed at all times. All drums containing oil, diesel or chemicals must be stored on a spill pallet, in a drip tray or in a spill-proof cabinet. They must also be located on impermeable surfaces, such as concrete. Mobile plant equipment containing oil or diesel must also be sited on impermeable ground, kept away from surface drains and internally bunded or supplied with a drip tray. Such equipment must also be logged with the Environment Compliance Coordinator on arrival. Environmental safety, like other forms of safety, depends on the vigilance and observation of those working and on the procedures we have in place. Assistance and advice is always available and questions are never a bother. You can contact the following personnel. Environmental Safety Group Head, Mark Potter. Environmental Compliance Coordinator, Lucy Braithwaite. Site Waste Coordinator, Martin Edmondson. Thank you for your attention. Please speak to your EDF contact if you have any questions or want to talk to any member of the Environmental Safety Team.